In this video, I will talk about mathematical representations of phase difference. After that, I will show you total 4 examples in which you have to know the basics of the mathematical representation of the phase difference. So at first, let me talk about angle. So what is angle? An angle is a space created by the intersection of two straight lines. If we have two straight lines, we consider a straight line as our reference axis which will be fixed with respect to other and we move or rotate the second straight line with respect to that fixed reference axis. Let's say I have this straight line and this straight line. See, this is the intersecting point of this straight line. Therefore, you will see there will be a space between the two straight lines. See here we have this straight line and this straight line and this is the intersecting point of this straight line. Here you will see there will be a space between these two straight lines. Here you will see let's say this is our first straight line and this is our first straight line. Therefore I will consider this straight line as reference axis or reference line. Now see with respect to this reference axis this second line produces an angle produces a space and this is known as angle this is known as angle now there are two types of angle one is positive angle another is negative angle see if I want to go from reference axis to the second straight line I have to rotate in clockwise direction therefore this angle will be positive angle with respect to reference line if we have to rotate in counterclockwise direction the angle will be positive because a positive angle is created by rotating counterclockwise direction around this reference line now see if I want to go from this straight line to this straight line you will see we have to rotate in clockwise direction therefore this angle will be negative a negative angle is created by rotating clockwise direction around the reference axis or reference line so if I have to rotate or move in counterclockwise direction our produced angle will be positive if I have to rotate in clockwise direction we will consider the angle is negative we use this concept in the four coordinate system see if I use the four coordinate system let's say this is our first coordinate this is our second coordinate this is our third coordinate and this is our four coordinate system in this axis we consider the theta equal to zero degree see if with respect to this line if I rotate an angle 90 degree in this angle will be positive with respect to this theta if I move another 90 degree the produced angle is considered to be plus 180 degree if I move another 90 degree the produced angle is considered to be plus 270 degree and if I consider another 90 degree the produced angle will be 360 degree and 360 degree angle will be overlapped with 0 degree therefore 360 degree and 0 degree angle is used synonymously now if I rotate in clockwise direction with respect to this theta equal to 0 or reference axis if I rotate in this direction in 90 degree you will see the angle will be minus 90 degree as I am rotating in clockwise directions if I rotate another 90 degree as I am rotating in in clockwise direction so this angle will be minus 180 degree if I rotate another 90 degree in clockwise direction this angle will be minus 270 degree if I rotate another 90 degree the angle will be minus 360 degree which will be overlapped with this zero axis okay so this is how we create the angle positive and negative angle if we have to move in counterclockwise direction we will consider that angle is as positive and if we have to move in the counterclockwise direction that angle is negative when I will be showing you the phase difference and the phasor you will see we will encounter the alternating quantity in the form of either plus sine theta or minus sine theta or plus cosine theta or minus cosine theta and whatever the form of the triangular function we have to convert these three into positive sine theta okay 
therefore you have to know the procedure how do we convert any alternating waveform into a plus sine theta see to do that I will use the four quadrant system by using the angle in this form theta plus n into 90 degree this will be our angle when this n will be odd and in front of it if we have sine the sine will be cosine or if we have cosine here our for n equal to odd our cosine will be sine if n is even if we have sine in front of this angle our sine will remain as sine if we have cosine in case of even n our cosine will remain into now in a four quadrant system in the first quadrant all the trigonometric functions are positive here only sine will be positive here only 10 will be positive the magnitude of 10 will be positive and here only cosine will be positive now how do we convert minus sine theta into sine theta let's say I have a triangular function in this form sine theta plus 180 degree or sine theta minus 180 degree see I can write these two equations like this sine theta plus 2 into 90 degree or sine theta minus 2 into 90 degree here n in both cases are even therefore our sine will remain as sine the value of angle theta is less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degree let's say theta is the angle that is produced by this straight line with respect to this theta equal to 0 axis now see the angle is theta plus 180 degree see this straight line produces an angle theta okay now see as the angle is theta plus 180 degree that means I have to rotate by an angle of 180 degree in counterclockwise direction because if we rotate in counterclockwise direction we will get the angle positive therefore you will see the position of the straight line will be here and this will indicate the phase angle of theta plus 180 degree with respect to this theta equal to 0 degree or reference line now what will be the value of this sine theta plus 180 degree see as n is even therefore sine will be sine and in this quadrant or third quadrant the magnitude of this sine is negative therefore I will get minus sine theta now let's say I have the same straight line which produces an angle theta with respect to this reference line now our angle is theta minus 180 degree that means at first I will move in counterclockwise direction because theta is positive by an amount of theta after that I will move 180 degree in clockwise direction with respect to to this line therefore you will see the position of the sine theta minus 180 degree will be in third quadrant therefore as we have n equal to even therefore our sine will be sine but in the third quadrant the magnitude of sine is negative therefore I will get minus sine therefore whenever I will see minus sine theta I will use simply this formula sine theta plus 180 degree because this theta plus 180 degree will indicate minus sin theta therefore these twos are equivalent now let's say I have an angle plus cosine theta how do we convert this cosine theta into sin theta simply we take sin theta plus 90 degree let's say I have a straight line which which produces an angle theta with respect to this reference axis therefore if I want to go theta plus 90 degree I have to rotate another 90 degree from this theta let's say I have to move this 90 degree therefore the angular position at this place will be the angle theta 
plus 90 degree with respect to this reference point. Here you will see the angle is given as theta plus 1 into 90 degree as the n equal to odd. Therefore, our sine will be converted into cosine theta. And see, in the second quadrant, the magnitude of the sine is positive. Therefore, it will be plus cosine theta. Now, how do we convert in any alternating quantity in this form to a sine theta? Cos minus cosine theta equal, you will see, I will take sine theta minus 90 degree. How do we look at this? Let's say I have a straight line which produces an angle theta with respect to this reference axis. Now our angle is theta minus 90 degree. That means at first I have to move in the counterclockwise direction by an angle theta. After that I have to rotate by an angle 90 degree from this theta. Therefore, let's say this is this is our that straight line. The angle between these two is 90 degree. Therefore, the angle difference between these two will be 90 theta minus 90 degree. Now see here we have given the angle in the form of theta minus 1 into 90 degree. As the n is odd, our sine will be converted into cosine theta. And see in this quadrant the magnitude of this sine is negative. Therefore, I will get minus cosine theta. So whenever I will be given an equation in this form minus cosine theta I will simply write it down like this sine theta minus 90 degree because these two will indicate the same thing